You guys, what's happening? Uh, nothing, just hanging out. How you doing? Okay, okay. Which, now, is that Devin or is that Jason? That sounds like Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that was a good guess. Hey, Watch very Jason. good guess. Total guess. But that's, good guess. That's all you could do, you guys. You guys, I, I went through the same thing with you guys, and, and everybody calls you twin and all those good things, and they don't even know yep. the difference, and you just kind of play the part of the other one if they get it wrong. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> that, that's how it works. I, I've been there and done that. My question, though, Jason, because I have this same issue with my twin. D, are you jealous your brother won a Super Bowl? Ooh. Oh, wow. you're not you're not jealous, but you are a little envious. And I, I think that uh, for anybody that wins it, when you play in our league, that's what everybody wants to do. So mm -hmm. no matter what, you're definitely going to be envious. And then uh, you see the guy that you've been kind of playing with your entire life. You dreamed about that moment and him being able to capture it. A little bit is envy, but then a little bit of it is kind of the next best thing uh, if you're not able to win it was kind of just being able to be down there on that field and kind of go through the experience with him. If I'm not able to win it, at least I would hope that he could do it each and every year. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. And my brother, uh, who won one with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you guys are just like us. We went to school together. You guys went to Rutgers together. Uh, and he doesn't rub it in. So, Devin, do you rub it in and do you plan to at some point? Do you, or you hold it over his head? Because Ronnie hasn't done that yet for me. No, I haven't rubbed it in. Only when he talked trash uh, <laughs> about the whole deflate gate and stuff in the off season, different charity events we would do. If he talked trash, I would. It would just be a friendly reminder of who won the Super Bowl. Yeah, but here's the thing, he, guys. He, he and, definitely, he definitely rubs it in a little bit. He told me <laughs> last year that they won more games in the playoffs three than we did uh, all last year, being oh, that we only won harsh. two games. So. I mean, he, rubbed it in, he rubbed it in a little bit. Well, he wasn't wrong. The <laughs> Titans were kind of tough to watch last season, Jason, although it's better this year. Uh, obviously, Devin, you know Tom Brady you know well. You've seen him operate for years. I'm curious. This one's for Jason. When you first saw Mariota at the complex doing his thing, what was your initial reaction just watching him in his craft as a young kid? Uh, excited about him. Uh, to be kind of that highly touted uh, second overall pick, have a ton of success at Oregon and uh, Heisman Trophy winner. Real humble kid, quiet kind of to himself when he first got there. And then you kind of see him opening up uh, a lot more. But all he did was work since he got there. He'd be the first one in the building, last one out. And uh, just you've seen him as a normal rookie, not a, not a flashy guy, but someone that was just going to come in, listen to the guys ahead of him listen to the coaches, and just do everything he possibly can to try to help the team. Not a surprise. We both met him. He is he is a gem. That's Jason McCourty of the Titans and also his brother, Devin McCourty of the Pats. He's got the championship ring, as he likes to tweak <laughs> his brother, Tiki and Tierney. Uh, you know, Devin, it's interesting because we've spent this morning talking about Robert Griffin the third and the, the leadership issues of a guy who's not even the starting quarterback. You've obviously experienced this with Tom Brady uh, and the way that he leads. It, it, Jason, you just mentioned how how uh, Marcus Mariota is quiet and he leads in a different kind of way, but he's not out front. Devin, what's, what is the key to leadership from, a, from that position? Because it's, 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 it is just offense, but it's also throughout the entire team. I think the key first is to lead by example. You know, I, I think anyone can go in there and, you know, throw out a bunch of words, a, a bunch of pregame speeches, but, you know, players, young or old, they go by what they see, and, and, you know, for us, we're fortunate enough to have a guy like Tom, you know, who comes in every day, puts in the work. He's, you know, probably the most competitive guy on the team in spring practices, you know, just in OTAs and, and spring minicamp. He's a guy yelling and screaming, talking trash. So, you know, when you come in as a rookie and you see that from the top guy on the team, I think it forces you to, to have a, a certain level of respect for him and for the rest of the veterans, and it makes you bring your game up because you're like, this guy's been here for X amount of years and he's still working that hard, and I need to really work harder than that if I even want to get close to that. So I think first at that quarter of position, just leading by example. You know, Devin, and then follow on that, were you guys worried, uh, you know, forget the whole, you know, drama around the flake gate in the offseason, but should he not been able to play or been been suspended? Were you guys worried about losing that? Uh, I, I think, you know, for us, obviously it would have been a big loss. You can't just say, you know, we'll just move on and, and go. Obviously it's what you have to do, but it would have been a big loss. But I think guys, you know, are always ready to, to do the next step. You know, whatever that is, uh, I think guys would have been, you know, ready to, to play for him and, 
you know, play and lead with his uh, his absence and, and try to go out there and win for him. But, you know, luckily for us, we didn't have to go through that. But it would have been, I think, a whole team effort of, you know, helping the next guys that had to step into those shoes, but doing it as a team, not just one individual.